Hey guys, it's here right here and after a certain request I really decided to record for you a video of how to install that modification where you can check the armor of the tank right in the garage without using any other resources. So first I'm going to delete my, all my modifications. For that I'll go to control panel, uninstall program and find the chose mod pack. There it is. So we just click on it and yeah, uninstalling, it's done. Let's run World of Tanks and check if I have any modifications in there. The launcher is still in Russian, but the whole game is in English. We'll see that. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the garage without any mods, without anything. I don't have any buttons here nor there and yeah I really already like certain things like right clicking on the crew and like clicking select best crew for this tanker so so that's basically it we don't have anything uh, and I'll show you how to explain uh, I'll show you how to install yeah I'll show you how to install yeah everything so let's close it alt f4 and get to this file. Chose mod pack 9171 version. Yeah, blah blah blah. Extended. Agree. English. Next. Remove all existing mods. That's very highly recommended. So if you have some of your own mods, probably you either don't have to install this or. You have also plenty of mods actually here, so maybe you can find all you need in this mod. Path to my world of tanks. Uh, and this is a list of mods from which you can choose. You can always tick and untick some mod if you want it or not. Unfortunately, these mods, uh, like Garbage Cellar, where there is some text, all text is in Russian, so that is not, not much use for you. But actually, I don't like these mods either. Random tank for the battle. Nah. Boring. Uh, and yes, this is effective armor in hangar. This is it. Like all the text is also in Russian, but I will run over it what everything there means. It's not so hard, like there are just a few numbers to remember. White racks of tanks and railway carriages. Someone was wondering if this is a legit mod if it's not forbidden and white track white tracks when tracked, yeah. Uh, the thing is that this blogger is actually the most popular blogger, Russian blogger in the world of tanks with two and a half million subscribers who really contacts with wargaming a lot. So everything that is in this mod pack, everything is allowed, everything is legal, and you see it's kinda it looks very fancy and... So that's basically it, let's press install and... It doesn't take too much time as you can see, I'm just talking and it's installing, I'm not like... Uh, increasing the speed of the video or anything, it's like, it's live. But it will just, yeah, process the skins and it takes some time. Maybe I'll skip it then, just a minute. Okay, so we are done. After the installation was completed, we see this window, kinda thanks to everyone who's do who was doing those mods. Plenty of people. Next, and finish. Now we are ready to run World of Tanks. Let's do that. Okay, so here we are, and the mod pack is actually telling me that there is a new version of mod pack, which is very sweet to know. Uh, and I'm wondering what happens if we press update. Ah, okay. 
that we will actually cancel it. Die 1954er Castle Bravo Atomversuch. Sie wollten etwas umbringen. Lauf! Sorry, it opened it opened my browser actually when I pressed update. So it's Jobs video and download links we can see in the description. We press it and here are all different places where you can download it from. Let's make it Google. So download. Download anyway. And it's 200 megabytes. So that's the next version of Modpack. I'm sure there is no difference between them. Uh, there is always the latest version for the latest version of World of Tanks clients, of course. Here, so if you check it from time to time, here will be some minor updates. Usually you don't need them. Like only maybe the first version, like 28.9.0, this is already point one. Point zero sometimes needs update because like it's fresh for the fresh version of the game, but apart from that they are all stable. And uh, as I talk it's already 100 megabytes. Okay, like we don't care because it's, it will be the same thing. Let's go back to the garage. Let's let's click some uh, to 60, and this is my menu back, which wasn't there. I can just right click here and say put previous crew, the crew which was on the last battle on this tank. And like here is this nice button. We we'll press it, and we have modification adjustments settings. Okay, so this is turned off. This is for showing actually the stats of the enemy vehicles. We can turn it on. This thing says reload and view range. You will see only little. I would prefer the very last one, the colored style. If, if, I, if I still used it, because I used it before, but right now I don't need it. And show on allies. This is show on allies. So you can actually point your gun at some ally and see the stats of that tank. And if the tank is has, say, stock gun, you will also see there, because you will see like the complete reload time, the alpha damage, the penetration of all rounds, the armor, front, side, back, of hull and turret, so everything basically. And view range, of course. Uh, or this is minimalistic, it's only reload and view range, you will see near the, your practical, actually, these numbers. But still, the last one, it's more comfortable. Five seconds timeout, and this is, you can adjust its position, but it's positioned well, you don't really need to touch here anything. As I said, I don't use it anymore. The closest enemy indicator, uh, show the name of the tank, and only if you can be shot. So no green marker, no green arrow, only red arrow and maximum distance at which this is shown. I prefer like full distance. 15 meter, 15 meter circle uh, by turned on by F9, turn on by getting into the battle, yeah, by starting battle. So in the beginning of the battle, you will already have 15 meter circle turned on if you tick this box, but we can always press F9 if you want it on. And Disable it after certain seconds. So if you turn it on and it says like eight seconds, then after se eight seconds your 15 meter circle will disable automatically. Okay. I still don't use this too much actually. Okay. Uh, horizontal gun arc markers, uh, like li little angles, square brackets, big semicircle semicircle well octagon central central marker yeah central marker see what this can be oh yeah here is the picture so i don't even need to explain anything okay so set it whatever you want um penetration skins if i turn it on the style is standard because i only installed standard um, and is enabled when I'm watching at the tank, when the tank is actually in my crosshairs 
or show always then it disables the camo and disables like the gun marks everything you only you only see the uh, the internal modules of the tanks always only when you press and hold some key in this case it's alt or turn on and off by pressing a key so again show always uh, when you are watching at the tank when you are keeping the, the key pressed and turn on and off by pressing a key so depends on you how you want it this tick uh, yeah, if you tick here it will be replacing skins only on enemy tanks so if you, not on your ally tanks now this is turn off skins when playing RT because do you even care <laughs> and yeah I don't need it but maybe you do extra sounds it's improved sound of critical hit uh, a bit more loud a siren when you have a fire whatever and sixth sense sound you can actually try them all here hey will you Wow, I'm wondering about it. Oh, damn. I have turned off the sound of the game. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you heard it. Here's something. Yeah, that was it. Let's get back to it. Okay, this is what I have right now. You can always try... Dog from Rudy Crew. That's sweet. Or... Uh, Eye of Sauron. I see you. That's too scary, I think. Or a loud one. Ow. Oh. Really too loud. Or, uh, or you can just try them all. I prefer to the standard. This. Um, automatical, automatic messages into chat. You uh, I'm spotted, but it will be sent in Russian, so probably don't need it. Well, I do. RT shot me. Well, you just don't need this because it will be all Russian, so you'll just turn it off. Or you don't install automatic messages into chat. Okay, we are finally to the most important thing, like why I was recording that, because I spent like 10 or 15 minutes already, I don't know, um, talking about something you don't really care much about. So this is it, you choose a tank, you can also like say preview tank, let's take object 263 preview vehicle and see armor, okay that's it, that's armor. Here are like this is a control panel and this is well basically the tank model, let's see what it all does. First of all the numbers which you see here. Well, the biggest number, 452, you can see it twice. Uh, in the first line, the biggest number, it's just the effective number at this point. And the next number, like 56, it's degrees, which means it's a slope at this point. So you see this is a sloped armor, and it's kind of 457 here of armor and 56 degrees. And on the second line, is in white, you see that... Uh, the first number is actually the real armor there like the nominal armor 250 and then a degree a slope there and also once again an effective armor so not not hard like nominal nominal armor slope effective armor pretty simple okay here we have also a track so a track is like another layer of armor so it we have like total armor on the very top and then we can look separately what, how much armor does the track give you and then the armor of the hull itself. Mm, no other screens in here. Oh, here. You see, here is a gun mantlet, 250 nominal armor and also like this, 
Hull Armor extra 250. So now let's have a look at what this control panel does. You can drag it like wherever you want. If you want just to close the, this view, you can always press close here or there. So even if you kind of lost this thing somehow and you can't see where it is, you can always press close. Yeah, and this thing appears always in there, so you will never lose it. So what do these things do? You can turn off some parts of the tank to see better the armor. Well, this is... the first is hull. Ah, that... <laughs> I, I guess I, I'm starting to understand now how they invented Grilly 15, you know. <laughs> okay, then a turret. Well, we don't have a turret. A gun. Uh, we can immediately see that there is zero behind the gun mantlet in the middle. So if you shoot like this, very this area, you see that the total armor is 260 because the armor of the gun mantlet is 250 and the hull armor is actually zero there. And tracks, if you want to check like these areas, it's very comfortable for this purpose. Let's check some other tank, like maybe E100, or, or yeah, I don't have E100. Too bad, um, yeah, like KV3, I wanted, to, I wanted to show you KV3, right? So we can see that first... The track is not covering the whole side armor. And yeah, sometimes it means that without any problems everyone will just penetrate you like this. Because sometimes sometimes they hit the armor and it's 200 they hit the track, sorry. It's 250. And sometimes they just shoot your side, it goes a bit lower and it's just 210. But also you can kind of turn off the gun and see that it's zero here again. Which means you can simply penetrate it like in the front, directly in the mantlet. You don't need like to look for a weak spot, just shoot its gun, that's it. Most of the tanks have good gun mantlets, but not the ones which I chose, because I chose them specifically, like Object 263 and KV3, because I knew that. Um, basically that's it, that's it for the mods. I will leave, I will leave a link to the modifications uh, to, to the video of Chove, where you can download everything in the description. Well, if you found this video interesting and helpful, then like it, I will be very happy. Thank you and goodbye.